What do you say to people who say, like, with the stories of like Mahabharata, etc., that it actually happened, that there's evidence that it happened? So what do you say to that? If First of all, let me tidy up your idea regarding your scriptures, because most Hindus are quite confused about it. Let me just tidy up. The two branches of your scriptures, one are called the Shrutis, they are, these are scriptures of authority. They are called Shrutis, they are the scriptures of authority. And most of the Shruti material is Upanishads, which talks about Atman and Brahman, principle oriented Hinduism. Shruti, scripture of authority. The second set of scriptures you have are called the Smriti scriptures. These are secondary. See the word, already we know they are secondary. So we give them less importance, because the first one talks about the high philosopher of Hinduism, like Atman and Brahman. The secondary scriptures are very important. Don't underestimate the power of secondary scriptures. All of you came to Hinduism because of the secondary scriptures, not the prince. You never have, I doubt if any of you have read a single Upanishad. So what are these secondary scriptures? The first part of the secondary scriptures we call Itihas, means historic, historic stories. And the two most famous historic stories, the two epics, means long stories, are the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The Hindus claim, look at my language, it's very guarded, claim these are historic stories, these are not made up, these are not mythological, actually happened. But let me give you a health warning, all of you. The way it is depicted to you today on the television screen, watch it. A lot of exaggeration, because the stories were passed through my word of mouth for thousands, they are I believe they are real. There were somebody called Ram and Krishna who lived thousands of years ago, I believe it. But the way the stories have been told and retold over thousands of years, lots of things have been added and subtracted from the story. Say the Valmiki Ramayana is quite different from the Tusidas Ramayana. So lots of things have been added and subtracted over thousands of, not hundred, thousands of years. So when these stories are given to you, be careful. There can be a lot of exaggerations. A lot of things have been quietly put away because it doesn't sound right. So be very careful. So when you see the image of Ram, you know, you know, I love Ram, of course. You know, with wearing silk clothes and going for a fight in the battle in the forest. I said, who was doing the laundry? Who was cutting his beard in the forest? So the way they are depicted today, they are colourful and I love them. But be careful about the exaggeration and the variation that takes place because it's human nature. We like to colour our stories. So be careful. So that's the, if you like, that is itihasic, that means that we have historic foundation. The second set of Sumuti scriptures are called Puran. The word Puran means legendary, simple English. So watch it. So when I, some young girl said, Mr. Lakhani, I'm going to give up Hinduism, become Christian, or become Muslim because of this story of Ganesh. How can God kill his own son and put an elephant head? This is, this is, your religion is terrible. I said, my daughter, read, it's called Puran, legendary. Once you explain to that, nobody will challenge you. But if you say, oh, it's real, you're in trouble. So this distinction between, if you like, Shruti scripture is a philosophic oriented, talks of principle oriented Hinduism, in the Smriti scripture, nothing wrong with personal, personalities like Krishna and Arjuna and talks of ethics and morality and courage and valor. Nothing wrong. But recognize their position. And be always, you know, always look. Think for yourself, my friends. Not that I'm imposing on you to believe that what I'm telling you, but I'm asking you to think for yourself. If you've got a system of th thought that is self-consistent, you are safe. If you've got a system of thought that is scattered, jagged, disjointed, you are in trouble. So when something like this says, well, how can this be? Ask yourself, don't ask me, think for yourself, this is my answer. <laughs>